So it's some old guy coding again, and uh, you know I've got the PCB board uh, vice curing here. I've added a clue in a couple of spots just to tighten things up. And today we're going to build a project with the Wemos D1 Mini. So what I've got here is one of the uh, wireless alarm pads. It's a chair pad for my mother-in-law. As you probably watched the channel, we take care of my mother-in-law with dementia. And she has to be monitored 100% of the time, so whenever she's up and walking around, uh, one of us is up with her to make sure that she doesn't fall. Um, and this is one of the chair alarms that we use. They're about uh, 70 to 100 and some a piece. Uh, they connect to a wireless system that we bought. Um, and, and overall it works pretty good. It's uh, helped uh, us keep her from falling many, many times. We know when she gets up at night or if I fall asleep in my chair sitting next to her and and she gets up, she's very stealthy. She'll be up and across the room in no time, even though, uh, you know, earlier in the day she can hardly walk with her walker, but when nighttime comes and sundowners begin, uh, she's up and running. So it's good to have a pad to let me know when she gets up, especially if I fall asleep in front of the computer, which happens once in a while. Now, the manufacturer is, uh, we'll take a look at this in another video. Well, let's go ahead and take the, the box out here. And I've got, well, um, there's a box inside here. And these things are, uh, <clears throat> when you pay for them, they're uh, good for a year. And I thought, well, okay, a year, you know, the batteries probably go dead or something, right? But I, my conclusion is now, no, there's a microprocessor in this box that uh, uh, stops it from working after a year. Now, you know, I can kind of understand the manufacturer of this pad will wear out eventually and may become unreliable and they want to make sure that they're not held liable for anything, but, uh, you know, this, and this, this is starting to tear here and there. We can throw a little tape on that. And I think, I think I can get more life out of this. I think I can probably get a lot more life out of it. We'll find out. But here's the innards of one of those boxes here. As you may recall from another video, a little microprocessor in there, microcontroller. And the batteries are good. Uh, you know, I didn't. Uh, I got new batteries. I didn't fix the problem. Um, there's looks like there's pins in there to reflash the part. Maybe there's something in there to reset it. Some secret combination. I don't know. But in any case, uh, you know, it gets to the point where you just can't afford another seventy to one hundred and some dollar pad uh, as quickly as you'd like. So today we're going to see if we can uh, set up something with a Wemos D1 Mini connect to the pad here, which is basically kind of a big variable resistor. Um, when you put pressure, the, the resistance goes down. It's not, it's not a switch, it's more of a resistor. And see if we can connect this to a little board with a Wemos D1 Mini in it and uh, you know, connect it up to Alexa with a little buzzer. I've got a little buzzer right here. This isn't loud enough to work from another room, but if I'm sleeping in my chair next to Joe, the mother-in-law, and she gets up, I'll, I'll be able to hear this. So, uh, if we're going to replace the one on the bed, eventually we're going to have to come up with something different. But this will work for this right now, and currently we don't have a pad on her chair, so I'm risking her getting up and falling just because, you know, uh, we've had some expenses lately, but you don't care about that. So. Um, so we're going to use that guy and a Wemos D1 Mini, which, uh, okay, I confess, I actually started on the project and messed up and I don't have a solder remover. If I say the other word, YouTube will mark this video as not suitable for advertisers. So there's a solder remover tool. I don't have one of those. I need to order one of those. They're cheap, like five bucks. So we're just going to open up another Wemos here slap it on another board and proceed like that other board never happened. It didn't happen. No, nope, I don't remember it. So here we are. And I don't think I've opened one of these on camera yet. Uh, I got a pack of five, I think it was off of eBay, for uh, 20 bucks, uh, 25 bucks, something like that. So they're about four or five bucks a piece. And uh, here's the little card here. It's got the fancy chip on that side. And it comes with a plethora of connectors here for whatever you might want to be doing. I mean, if you want to set this up as a uh, as a layer in between some other boards, these guys would be wonderful for that. Um, also, if you just want to connect boards on the top of this guy, or 
underneath this guy. You could mount these on either top or bottom. Those would be handy. And for PCB mount, I think I'm going to use those. I don't think there's anything I need to stack on top of this thing, so I think we'll be good. So let's zoom in on those guys a little bit so you can actually see what we're looking at here. Let me get this lined up a little bit more. There we go. So here's the board. There's one option. There's another option right there. And uh, this is the one I'm going to be using there. So, all right, let's zoom back out just a little bit so you can see what's happening. So, I'm going to save the ones I'm not using today and put them into uh, back into the box. You never know, they may come in handy someday. So I've got some other parts sitting out here too. I've got some uh, LEDs that came out of uh, <clears throat> the Super Starter Kit here from uh, Elegoo. And uh, I've got some resistors out of a resistor pack that I, I bought online. Um, if I had my choice to do it over again, um, I ordered this capacitor pack from Joe Knows Electronics. I really like this one much better. It's uh, just feels nicer, it seems like it's just... But, you know, the resistor pack that I got from the other place will work for us, of course. It's got resistors in it. It just, uh, you know, and it's got labels on it. Um, I, I just kind of like this packaging here. So, we're going to go with that in the future. And uh, uh, Joe Knows Elect Electronics has packs of uh, LEDs and all sorts of things. So, we're probably going to order some LEDs from him, too. I used to have bags of LEDs, but they're all, you know, ancient ones that uh, you have to have a, a car battery to get them to light, you know, current-wise, as opposed to these little guys here that just light like magic. So we've got a resistor here, and I figured I would put a little connector on here, too, just in case we decide to uh, hardwire a power supply instead of, uh, instead of plugging into the USB. I figured I'd throw that on there, too, just so we have it. All right. So here's a connector off of one of those uh, boards, off of, uh, it's basically this one right here. I took off the other board and we'll use that to uh, connect to the uh, pad. I might throw some more wire on there. Of course, that'll make the system more noisy, but it'll put it up in a spot where I can see it and she might not mess with it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's like three ground wires and then one active wire coming back to give you the resistance. Uh, these all seem to be wired together, so I'm just going to wire them together. Um, let's get that on camera so it's a little bit easier to see. <laughs> Down the road sometime, if I can afford it, maybe I'll like, order some extension cables for, the, for that kind of connector, but we'll see what happens. All right. And then lastly, somewhere here, in this parts box, I think. <clears throat> I have a little pack of uh, perf boards that I ordered off of uh, eBay, I think it was, pack up five or something like that. So uh, that'll work fine. And we probably could just dead bug this thing in midair, but uh, I wanted something that's going to be. Uh, somewhat reliable. So there we have it. Is my uh, vise here dried enough that we can use it possibly? I don't know. No, it's still tacky. So we're going to take a little break here and go, uh, go surf the web. And uh, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to look for you because you will have subscribed to my video. So I just want to mention uh, I appreciate everyone who subscribes to the videos, who watches the videos. It's great. I love it. And um, just remember there are also other ways if you enjoy the channel that you can help out. I do have a Patreon page and I'll put links below. So that would be wonderful to help uh, pay for some of the supplies that we use in here. Um, we also have a fundraiser page now for uh, the future uh, uh, Lowrider project, uh, Lowrider CNC. If you want to take a look at that, it's out on GoFundMe. And meanwhile, we'll take a break and let this cure and uh, I'll be back in instantly in your time. But for me, it's going to be half an hour or so. Okay, I think we'll cut it there now. This is starting to get to about 10 minutes long, so we will uh, uh, continue in the next video, and you can watch me uh, stumble around with a soldering iron with, uh, with poor vision. So let's 
have a laugh. See you next time. Thanks for watching.